All right, it is BLM here, and it is time for part two of my October pickups. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> this is everything I picked up yesterday as I'm, like, the day I'm filming. Like, um, yesterday was, I don't know, like, <laughs> all right, the day that I posted part one, it was the day before that. This is everything I picked up on that day, and um, I think I personally got a good deal on all this. Um, yeah, I'll, um, I'll start with what I got in the morning. I didn't have, um, I didn't go yard sailing this week, which I was originally planning to, uh, go yard sailing with a friend of mine, but, um, he ended up canceling and I decided to go to the flea market instead, um, which I'll explain that later. Um, but, um, there was a yard sale right across the street from my house and, um, yeah, this is what I got, um. I ended up getting everything for $10, which um, actually came with, I believe, five other games. It came with uh, Crash Bash for the PS1, then um, two Tony Hawk games for GameCube. It came with uh, Shrek 2, and then uh, Sonic Mega Collection. And then uh, these are the games I kept, though. Um, so for all those, I paid $10. Um, I picked up Shrek Super Slam, which um, a lot of these don't have manuals, sadly, but... Um, Whatever, like, GameCube games to add to the collection, I'm happy to get. Uh, yeah, this one doesn't have the manual either. SpongeBob SquarePants the movie. Over the Hedge. This one is complete. Monster House. Yeah, complete. Uh, Fantastic Four. Uh, no manual. Spider-Man. Happy to get that. No manual. Um, but I've been wanting that game. Freedom Fighters, uh, no manual, but this is probably the second most valuable game I got. Um, this is like a like seven to ten dollar game. Then um, this one I was happy about too. Total Rampage, Total Destruction, um, complete, awesome, great, like great game to have. Um, supposedly this is a pretty awesome game too. I need to give it a try. And this last game here. Um, is, well, Super Monkey Ball 2. At least that's what the case is. But inside was, I was extremely happy about this, um, Mario Party 7. Yeah, happy about that. Um, it's like a $15 game. I was going to sell it, actually, but I decided not to because the woman said that um, she might have the case in her house, um, that um, if she finds it, she'll um, just go over to my house and give it to me, so... I'm um, happy about that. So, alright. Yeah. This next stuff. Um, this is all pickups from the flea market. Uh, damn, wrong side. Yeah, I got all this stuff here from the flea market. And, yeah, I decided to sell some, like, dupl like I, um, I used to sell stuff on Craigslist, which I decided to stop to doing, um, and I decided to sell it to the flea market this time, and I'm extremely happy I did because I um, I sold the GameCube, I mean the games that the duplicates of the games that I just got right now, the GameCube ones, and then that Crash Bash. Then I also um, I sold Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi two, then um, like two copies of Madden 08 for 360 that no one wants, and. Um, yeah, the Lion King and then the um, Disney's Aladdin without the manuals. The ones that I had from my last game collection update. For my first part, I should say. And I like I was expecting to get like around $25, $30 credit. But he went up there. Like after he came back, after like pricing it all out, he said, Okay, I'll give you $15 cash, which is a fucking ripoff. Or $40 store credit. And... That blew my mind. Um, yeah, the bad thing though is that you had to spend all the store credit uh, there at once because they don't keep track of it. So, um, yeah, like all the stuff from here down I got for um, trading, like I traded those, what, like nine, ten games or whatever for all this stuff here. Um, now, mind you, it, there are a lot of fillers, um, but there are some games I'm happy to have. So, I'll start off with this stuff, um, these actually end up being 25 cents a piece, 
because um, these were in the clearance bin, which were, um, what was it, 10 for 5. But I ended up, like, after the deal and everything, I am getting these for 25 cents a piece. So all these are complete. I wouldn't have bought them if they weren't complete. Um, I got ESPN NBA 2K5 for PS2. Like, these first seven were PS2 games. ESPN NFL 2K5. NBA Live 2002, yeah, NBA Live 2004, see, just filler games, just games I didn't have, MVP Baseball 2004, yeah, uh, MLB 2004, uh, this next one I thought was in better shape, but apparently it isn't, uh, MLB 08 The Show, it's in pretty crappy condition, but this is okay, so, whatever, yeah. And these three Xbox games got NCAA Football 03, Madden 04, and NBA Live 05. So got those for 25 cents a piece. Um, these next two stacks were all random prices. Um, I'll tell you how much they were. Uh, this was 50 cents for the NES. I got Major League Baseball. Um, I believe this ended up being 50 cents too. Uh, Triple Play 2000. This one I think was, I paid a little more for it. I think it was like two or three dollars. Um, I just bought it because it's part of the H Tech, like, I don't know what they call it. The A1 game series or whatever they call it. Um, and that's Puzzle Star Suite. It's pretty much just a collection of a whole bunch of generic games, like um, for the PS1. Like I have like the tennis and I have the snowboarding and. Um, I want to collect them all eventually, so I got that. This was 50 cents. MVP Baseball 2005 for GameCube. Complete. Or maybe this was a dollar. I don't remember. Uh, NHL 98 for Genesis. I was extremely happy to see this because um, this is one of the last games released for the Genesis, and this is actually like a $10 game. Uh, so happy to get that complete. That was 50 cents. Um... This was 50 cents. Tiger Woods PGA Tour 01. Uh, complete, not in a PS2 case though, which I didn't realize until I got home, but whatever. Um, this was three bucks, but uh, which is a lot more than what I normally would have paid. I would have only paid probably a buck for it, but I decided like after like throwing everything in, like pretty much I just got like thirty dollars worth of stuff. And after that, I just started like throwing shit in there, and then said, "Would you do all of these for an even trade?" And he said, "Sure." So yeah, all these I didn't even pay money for. Um, got S Smuggler's Run, um, Grace Hits, but it is complete in great shape, so I decided, okay, I'll get it. A couple Xbox games, this was 50 cents, MVP Baseball 04. Complete. I think, wait, what? Yeah. Uh, this was priced at $2. I would have never paid that, but after throwing shit in, I just decided to get it. Crimson Skies, High Road to Revenge. One of the most common Xbox games, but I just didn't have it, so it is complete. These next two I was happy to get, though. I got Thrillville. I used to play the shit out of this game when this came out. I, I um, had the PS2 version, um, but the PS2 version there, like, they wanted, like, $10 for it. Fuck that. But, uh, yeah, this was 3 which tells you these games aren't worth shit. They're only worth like a dollar or two. But I really wanted to get this game back in my collection. Because I absolutely loved this game as a kid. And this game's supposed to be extremely shitty. But I always wanted to play it. And that is uh, Drake of the 99 Dragons. Um, this is notorious for how shitty it is. But uh, it's a game I always wanted to play. And it is complete. It was priced at three bucks. Which I guess okay deal I guess. And then these last ones here. Um... Got these Game Gear games for. These were priced at a dollar a piece. I got Sports Trivia, Madden 95. I don't have a Game Gear, but I decided to get them for as cheap as they were. Uh, Sports Trivia Championship Edition. I don't know if that's any different or it's the same game or what, but whatever. And uh, Poker Face Paul Solitaire, which I've never heard of, but whatever. Um, yeah. These Game Boy games here, these were two bucks a piece. Um, for Game Boy Advance, I got Earthworm Jim in really shitty condition, but two bucks, it's not that bad of a price. Um, 
Dragon Ball Z collectible card game. Happy to get that for two bucks. Um, I'll save this one for last. Uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Um, I'm trying to collect all the Tony Hawk games, so I need to get that. Battleship, which this had a price tag of seven on it, but it was in the clearance bin where it said two dollars a piece for a Game Boy games. Um, so yeah, I thought whatever, I'll pick it up. And um, this one I was extremely happy about because I did not know this, but turns out this is worth like ten dollars. Um, that's Gremlins. Uh, Stripe versus Gizmo, and I actually popped this in, and it's a pretty interesting platformer. It's not that good. It's okay, but whatever. And then these last games were Super Nintendo titles. Um, the first few were, these first four were 50 cents. NBA Showdown, Cor Pro Quarterback, NBA Live 97, and NHL 97. Those were 50 cents, and these next three, um, Box Super Nintendo games were a buck a piece, which, I mean, box Super Nintendo games for a buck a piece, I can't complain. Uh, no manuals, though, which kind of sucks, but they do have the cardboard thing in there. Uh, Super Baseball Simulator 1000, or 1.000, whatever. Um, this is the worst condition out of the three. It's crushed and shit, but I said for a buck, what the hell. Yeah, it is complete. I mean, it, is, it does have the cart thing, whatever. No manual, sadly, but... I could probably get that extremely easily. Um, yeah, that was a buck. Uh, Brett, wait, Brett Hull Hockey 95? I've never even heard of this game, but, yeah. Yeah, complete. Stickers all over the cart, but whatever. It's not like I'm going to be ever looking at the cart if I have the box. So. And then, uh, NCAA Basketball, which is one of the more common games, but whatever. Um, one of these sides are taped up for some... This side is taped up for some reason. I don't know why, but... Alright, wait. Fuck. Yeah, Won't open. Alright. Yeah. Here. So, yeah. I was happy about that for a buck a piece. And... See, all those games I just showed you, I g traded for those, like, what, ten games I traded in. So, I was extremely happy about that deal. Uh, especially since those games were pretty much useless to me since they were doubles. Um, yeah, I was happy with that. Got, in my opinion, a great steal. Um, let's see if I can fit these in here. Yeah, yeah I'm going to need a new bookshelf soon. Shit, I mean, like, this is full as it is, but with all the shit I got this month, like, this month I picked up 98 games, I think it was. Um, I'm going to need a lot more room. <laughs> But, alright, almost done. Thank you, God. This has been taking forever. Um, this next vendor, I picked up some really cheap games from him. Um, he's a really awesome guy. I actually start, like, talk to him for like 15, 20 minutes. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, I paid $5 for all this. Um, it was originally going to be 15 but I traded in, um, what was it, like, F1 Race, Namco Museum, and uh, Pokedex, which I know Pokedexes go for like fifteen, twenty dollars, but I just like I don't really give a shit about it, so I just traded it in. And um, got these games here for five dollars total. Um, most of these were priced at a dollar, I believe. Yeah, all of these were priced at a dollar except for one. Um, I'll start off with the Game Boy games. These were a buck a piece. American Ashley Pocket Planner, whatever. Game & Watch Gallery, it has writing on it, but for a buck you can't complain. Uh, Power Spike Pro Volleyball, yeah. Um, Racing Rats, which um, I don't know anything about, however I did look up the cover of the game and it looks like it's a, like, looks like it's a, uh, like a Micro Machines type game, so I hope it is. If it is, it's going to be awesome. And I got uh, Trouballs, Trouballs, something, I don't know. Uh, some Capcom title. Um, supposedly it's a puzzle game, so I'll give that a try. See how good it is. Those were a buck a piece. Um, I'll save these two for last. Um, one Super Nintendo game for a buck. Uh, Super Caesar's Palace. Just a game I didn't have. Got three NES games I didn't have. Got Tecmo Basketball for a buck. All these were a buck. Uh, Al U Unser's Junior Turbo racing yeah whatever 
and George Foreman KO Boxing, which uh, has a sticker all over it that it's a hassle to get off. Uh, I'll get it off eventually, whatever. For a buck, you can't complain. Then I got, for Dreamcast, World Series Baseball 2K2. Complete. A buck. One Genesis game, NFL Quarterback Club 96. Uh, complete with a poster, actually. That was a buck, too. Um, damn. Shit. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Has this thing. And then, um, on the back is, like, trolls and stuff like that, I think. Yeah. Like, combos and stuff. Or something. I don't know. But it is complete. Damn, I didn't fucking realize that. This fucking manual is enormous. Holy crap. Look at this shit. You really need this much for a fucking football game? Like, it can't be that complicated. Ugh. Um... Then, this was the only one that was priced at $2, but really, like, after the trade-in, it was only $5 for all these games, I couldn't complain. Uh, Carmen San Diego, The Secret of the Stolen Drums. Um, I need to clean this up. Damn. It is complete, however, the bottom is, there's a crack at the bottom. But, I believe it's, the disc is in great shape. Yep, it is. And, um, I used to love Carmen San Diego when I was younger. I don't know about this game. I believe this was supposed to be extremely shitty, and I have no clue. It looks like a 3D platformer, actually, from the back, but I don't know. Last two games here. We got Blues Brothers 2000 for N64 with stickers all over it, but, um, yeah. These two he actually just put out on the $1 bin. Um, he said, like, whenever he doesn't sell something for a month, he puts it in the $1 bin, so. I mean, unless it's, like, something extremely expensive, like, unless it's, like, a... Like a, I don't know, like an Earthbound or something. He'll never put that on a one dollar bin. But um, Blues Brothers 2000. Uh, don't know much about this game, but yeah, it's supposed to be shitty if I remember. But a buck, you can't complain. And this one I was extremely happy about, even though it is in really bad condition. But it is um, Rastin or Raston. I don't know how you pronounce it. Saga 2. Um, it's a sequel to Raston. Rastin. Eh, whatever. Um, a Tato, which is a Tato game, uh, I believe it was an arcade game, and it was ported to the Master System. And, um, it's supposed to be a really, like, awesome, what do you call it, um, uh, side-scrolling beat-em-up type game, so, happy to have that. And this is like a $10 game too, so, happy about that. So yeah, that is everything I picked up this month. A lot, a lot, a lot of shit, um, so... Yeah, extremely happy about that. I'm going to be holding off on buying shit next month. Um, I'm not going to be... Like, until Black Friday, I should say. Um, like, I'll probably... I plan on going yard sailing maybe once, and then go... Probably go to back to the flea market once, but except for that, I won't be buying anything next month. At least I don't plan on until Black Friday, so... Yeah, um... That's my game collection update. Uh, thank you for watching. Oh my god.